Hey, this is Sid with Table Talk with Sid. This is another life memo. I uh, wanted to toss this around with you. So I was out visiting a girlfriend today and she was uh, telling me how frustrated she is with the people she works with at work. She says they're unmotivated. They're not inspired. They do things halfway you know, all those things that are very frustrating to her. She um, definitely has some great work ethic. She um, is very goal-oriented. She's outspoken. She's a go-getter. She has all of those wonderful qualities. And I thought that it was really interesting because in some ways, I think she may be missing the point. I don't know if you've ever heard of a reason, a season, a lifetime. So a reason is People come into your life for a reason. If you go to the gas station, that person's there to take your money. You go to the grocery store. There are people there that are helping you put your groceries into a bag and into your cart. People come into your life for a reason. Then there are the people for a lifetime. Of course, your family, your children, your parents, sometimes a partner, sometimes friends will be in your life for a lifetime. These people that come into your life for a season, they're called seasonal friends, seasonal people. They're extremely important. These people that come into your life for that season bring you gifts. They bring you gifts of patience, understanding, opportunity, love. Some of them will bring you children. Some bring you the opportunity to problem solve to manage anger, all of these things. So when they bring you this gift, once the gift is given, they must move on. It's part of their gift. So when they move on, they move on loudly or they'll move on quietly, but they will move on. And their purpose for moving on is because once the gift is given, they must leave the path and your journey to make more room for the people that are to come next. And so when they leave, one of the biggest errors we can make is trying to reel them back in. Sort of like saying the gift you gave me isn't enough. You need to give me more. And then you'll find if the person stays, the relationship kind of twirls down the toilet. So finding gratitude for that person, finding the gift. Sometimes you do have to take a moment and step back to find the gift that that person left you so that you can honor it, you can celebrate it, you can have that compassion for that person because they gifted you. Well, there's something else that's quite beautiful in life. Often, you are that seasonal person for someone else. You're often put in other people's lives, not because they're meant to gift you, but because you are meant to gift them. So, if we focus on my friend who's frustrated with all of these people that she works with, could it be her opportunity is to find a way to inspire, find a way to motivate? You know, she could just say one thing that could touch their life forever. She doesn't have to mommy them. She doesn't have to be responsible for them. But that ability to touch a life by giving a smile by giving one kind word, by believing in someone when they don't even believe in themselves, or pointing out the greatness about someone that can't see the greatness in themselves. You know, we're all so quick to point out the faults and the downfalls of others, and then we wonder why our society doesn't bloom. Well, you cannot bloom. A plant will never bloom if you do not water it and put it in healthy soil. So why would you think that society would bloom when you don't water them and put them in healthy soil? If you want people around you to be brilliant, you are the first step to their brilliance. It is your opportunity to be great for yourself and for those around you. It is your opportunity to find the good in your day, in yourself, and in others. It is also your opportunity to help those who are not as inspired or motivated. They may not see the greatness in who they are, where they're going, or what they even add to the situation. Because I'm going to tell you this, when a soul feels valued, when the soul feels important, when a soul has some kind of vision, 
that soul will bloom. It will have no other choice but to bloom. And you could be one of the very few people that could touch that life and help that person to begin to bloom simply by giving input and by simply giving intrigue to who they are and simply uplifting their soul for what they want to become who they are today, and the talents they have. You know, the world is filled with enough people who look at the negative, who point out the downfalls, and who are very clear on why you are worthless. If more people would get on board and start uplifting others to see their greatness and uplifting others to help the other people to see their own greatness, our country, our world, and our future would begin to soar like no other because things and opportunities and lives can only bloom when it is fed with inspiration, when it's watered, and when the soil is healthy.